missing stones with the box, 1,313.88. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for a late night Bolo category video and be ready to have your socks knocked off. All right, what we're going to talk about in this video is brooches, rhinestone brooches that are missing stones. And this one I pulled up on Terra Peak just to get you the actual sold price and it sold for $185. So let's take a peek at what it looks like. And you can see right here is the missing stone. So $185. This is a rare Nolan Miller vintage crystal keystone ruffle brooch pin missing one stone. Now I have never heard of the brand Nolan Miller. I don't know if you have. I'm looking for a marking. I'm not seeing maybe right there. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's no close-up of the marking, but there is a close-up of the missing stone right here. So still sold for $185. The next one is this vintage Trafari sterling silver birds on a branch pin brooch missing stones from the 1950s. And we will take a peek. This one is sterling silver, so it does have value in silver. And I'm going to zoom in here and you can see the markings right here and the crown trafari. Um, if it is crown trafari, it will have a little crown over the top. I do know that much. I'm trying to see the missing stones on this one. It's kind of hard to tell. So um, they did put it in the title, which I think is a smart thing to do. Let's go on to the next one. This is another one that the best offer was taken of $200. This one is, I believe it's pronounced Shriner, and they're calling it a turtle brooch, missing one stone, and it looks like the stone is missing right here. So they took a best offer of $200. That's a pretty big stone, probably going to be hard to find an exact match, but because it is a good brand, somebody is probably going to look for that stone and replace it. So they're going to need to find another one that is the same or similar. But look at that, $200, and it's missing a ginormous stone. Okay, I don't know if it's ginormous, but a big one. This is a Boucher or Boucher. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A signed and numbered peacock pen, and it is missing one stone. This one sold for $265. So what I did is I went in and I looked to see if there was feedback. If there was no feedback, I went to look and see if the item was relisted. And if not, um, not relisted and there's no feedback, I'm going to assume that because it was not relisted that the item had a good, that it sold, that it was paid for. Here's your markings on the back. Missing a small blue stone and they're pointing to it right there. Okay, so you can see, I like how they did the pictures. You know exactly what you're getting. You know which stone is missing. And I want to see if I can zoom in for you guys. Right here is the brand. Okay? Great brand to pick up. And you can see on this one, I checked the feedback and they did uh, pay for the item. So that is one tool that I use to see if the item's actually sold because anybody can get on here and look at solds and tell you, oh my goodness, look, it sold for this. But what we really need to know is, did the item actually sell? So this is a good way to verify it with feedback, to check and see if the item was relisted, because as a seller, I know that if I have a high dollar item and the buyer does not pay, the first thing I do is I relist it. This one is an Eisenberg rhinestone large pearl brass color brooch. Beautiful, but this one is missing the pin. This sold for $305. Again, it was not relisted. There was no feedback, but I want you to look at the condition of this. Another thing that you can do, and it's marked right here, Eisenberg, and there is no pin. $305 is what this ended for on auction. I'm going to show you another tip here in a second. 
if you click on four bids, one thing you can also look at is how many bidders. There were only four, but the high bidder has over 3,000 feedback. If this said one, two, three, maybe I would question whether or not they paid, but typically people that have 3,000 feedback are probably going to pay. The next item, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, nope, this is a new one. This is another Eisenberg. It's sterling silver also. They took a best offer of $280. So if you look right here, it was originally $495, best offer of $280, and it says missing stones. So we're going to take a peek here. And maybe a stone missing there. It's a little harder to tell on this one. Let's see. Right there, missing a stone right there. So it's missing multiple little rhinestones. I will say the little rhinestones are easier to find. Here's your signature on the back. Great to know. Uh, you know that if they're selling missing stones for this price, that they're going to be selling for more if they actually have all the parts and pieces. So somebody could easily fix this one. The next one is a vintage Christian Dior brooch glass. Oh, you guys told me how to say this, but I forget how to say it. Um, G-R-I-P-O-I-X. Signed 1966 missing one stone. And it's missing this stone. So again, probably going to be a little bit harder to find. Sold for $660. And again, this one was not relisted. I'm going to see if we can zoom in here. Here is your marking. And let's look at the bid history. 12 bids, 11 bidders, and 179 feedback on this one. But the person before that had 3,000 and 485, 5,000. So all of these buyers have decent feedback. So that tells me that this brooch is going to sell for big money in this range, even if this person didn't pay. There was no feedback, but the item was not relisted. And this ended February 2nd. The next item is this Mazur brooch to earrings, rare silver tone, red glass rhinestones, missing one stone. So brooch to earrings, $740. And let's see if we can find the missing rhinestone. Sometimes they're hard to find. This is how it comes apart. And I'm trying to figure out how these are earrings. I don't think those are earrings. <laughs> I think this is a duet brooch. I don't think, because uh, I could be wrong. What do you guys think? I know that, is it Coro that makes, yeah, Coro makes the duet brooches. I'm going to say this is probably a duet brooch and those are not earrings because that might hurt your ear, right? I wish I could see the backs better. They show it, but I'm, I want to see the inside, you know, to see if it's actually like a clip on. It could be. I could be wrong. Let's see. One red stone missing and has a pin back closure. The earrings have clip on closures and are also in great condition. Yeah. So I would have to really see the inside to know if those are actually clip ons or just how it clips on to the pin. $740. Uh, the winning buyer had 2,611 2, feedback. So no feedback left on that one, and it was not relisted. Here is a vintage Alfred Felipe invisible waffle glass trafari brooch missing stones with the box, 1,313.88. And here it is, and you can see, I see a stone missing here. Um, it says missing stones maybe here let's see let's keep looking sometimes like i said it's just hard to tell is there something missing right there oh maybe right there so that'd be harder to fix this would probably be possible you just have to find the right stone so let's look at the bid history oh look at this you guys Twelve thousand feedback on that one so I'm guessing this definitely got paid for. Uh, no feedback was not relisted. This person had 485, but even if they didn't pay and they sent a second chance offer, I'm guessing that person would pay. So 
more than likely a good sale. Now this one is the shocker. Are you ready? Vintage bird brooch, March, marked brochure or boucher, missing some stones. And guys, the head is missing. It's missing the head and it's still sold. Let's look at the pictures. There's your mark. There's your mark. It's missing the head. Would you have listed this? Let me know in the comments. Here we go. Let's look at the bid history. 254, 184, 234. Uh, this one didn't go super high, but there were 14 unique bidders on this. And the thing had no head. And everything was okay. Thank you very much. So this person gave positive feedback to their headless bird. All right, you guys, this was just a short, quick video to let you know that sometimes even broken and defective items still have value. All of these brooches sold for over $100. One sold for over $1,000. That is absolutely crazy. So definitely be on the lookout. Thanks for watching. Check out my brooches, clip-on earrings, vintage necklace is different um, jewelry videos like this. They're called category videos. And I have a whole playlist. I do stuffed animals and other things also, but I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're into jewelry. So check it out. Also check me out on whatnot. I do untanglings where I just dump a bunch of jewelry and I grab and sell. Would love to see you guys over there. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. There's a link down below. It's my referral link. You will get $15 to shop if you use that. So hope to see you at a future show and thanks for watching.